Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 9 of the 4DJ First Mix. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. It feels like forever because I didn't watch this on Friday. I, was, I wasn't feeling good. Because all I really had was this in the stream. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> mm. Poor Mooney. See, that's exactly why anytime I play a game, I have to put on Do Not Disturb because, oh my god. It's super annoying when I get like a text message, a notification, anything while I'm playing a rhythm game or any type of game. Or if I'm watching a video, like, oh my god, so annoying. But I'm so happy! Like, yay! Good job, girls. They do, but not in a way that you do, Maho. <laughs> But we get to see Fonton Maiden today. Finally, after freaking eight weeks, these girls officially are getting a freaking appearance. And we're going to hear a freaking choo choo from Bandere. Um, who else? Aya from Bandere. And then I think, I think that's it. I think they're the only two people, Seiyus, who are in Fonton Maiden. See, I'm still waiting for um, what they're supposed to do with Nanami's character and um, Rochelle's character because we haven't seen them since episode one. Episode, well, no, that's a lie. That's a big lie. <laughs> Look at Ray. She looks so cute. Riku is just confused. I don't know what. Well, yes, but. <laughs> Which is the one thing Maho has cared about since, you know, the beginning. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Look at Ray! My poor baby. No. Sorry. Seems like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, can we find out who else is also in this top eight? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I, 
uh, yeah, and then she tried telling you guys last night, but all three of you really didn't care. No offense. Well, damn, Mooney. It's freezing in here. Mm -hmm. Definitely gonna make me some hot chocolate after because I am so cold. <laughs> oh, okay, Sheena Boo. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> you know, I kind of wish, like, what they would do and this is mainly in the show. Every performance that they've done. Also put it on like their their version of YouTube possibly. So that's how they can skyrocket a little bit more maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But you know eh. <laughs> oh, okay Mooney. Rinky, what's up? Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Rinky's right. Exactly. I mean, you did it for Peaky Peaky, so it would make the most sense to do it for Fountain. Well, yeah, that too, but you know, people are already fans of these of this unit. I mean, come on. Currently, right now, if we're talking about this series, they are number one, and I think like Rondo and Mermaid are two and three. <laughs> Look at my babies. <laughs>
<clears throat> so, um, how are we feeling about that performance? Yeah, sci-fi, techno, yeah. Yeah, but don't get too comfortable. Yeah, watch, you check tomorrow, and then you find out y'all are at 9th, and they're at 8th. So no matter what, you have to keep going. Told you. Are you tired? Oh, I mean, they could, oh, you would think they would take both, but, okay. You guys will do fine. Yeah. Mm hmm. You gotta love how they just did this, like... <laughs> makes you wonder especially with the stories that we're seeing for these nine episodes oh god I felt that um is it gonna also be featured in the game maybe I'm not 100% sure mm -mm -mm. yeah Or is fangirling way more than she needs to like oh my god <laughs> well, you have to do better than your best, of course. You can do this. Well, you have to. You go eat some cake. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You have to treat Rinku like honey some piper or a nice gold glove. Oh, Jen. Well, Jesus Christ. Ah. <laughs> Jen. 
Jen, I think you are the only girl who likes to do that. Yeah, she is, you know, on a guy muscle, my poor baby. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, but sometimes you can't really write it in Rinku's image. No, don't be sorry! Mm hmm. Yeah, she should be able to. she's the one that produced them. Oh, I'm thinking that was Lyrical Lily for a moment. I was like, oh my god, like, are they gonna show them too? And then, you know, your girl would have been pissed. We're like, oh my god, everybody except Mermaid. Mm. <clears throat> But you want a challenge, right? Right. Then you have to tell them that. Exactly. Right. I just, oh my god. I need her. I want her to speak up. But, because there is a but. 
maybe it just would have been better because are the are these Cuba girls are they gonna have character songs? Well, technically, yeah, because Mooney had her own song. Exactly. If Mooney was able to have a freaking song, Ray, Maho, and freaking Rinku all should have their character songs as well. Uh, my baby. It's Rosalie all over again. I can't. They would end it like that. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, so let's talk about the fact that, you know, Rochelle's character finally makes an appearance since episode two. That's good because we can finally. The fact that she is the one who technically <clears throat> made the auditions for Fontomera makes 100% sure. Um. I am glad that, you know, Ray is singing. It seems like Ray is going to be singing next week on Friday. So we just got to wait. But signs are pointing to yes. And honestly, because of the fact is it's my baby Rinku. And I love her so much. I mean, Wrinkle. Uh, Wrinkle from Rosalia. And I love her so much. And she's like, she, oh my God. Everybody from Rosalia are my best girls. I, I don't have a number one because I love them all so much. And her voice is so good, but I think if she sings this, this is going to be that song that's going to help them defeat Fontaine Maiden. I'm not 100% sure, but here's hoping because Baby got a good voice. We all freaking know that. And I think, you know, it'll be a really good song. Hell, I might even cry next week. Who knows? But like, oof, I just, I need it to be Friday now because I want to know. How it's gonna go. Cause she deserves this. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, she's gonna sing. Oh my god. Yay. Oh, I just literally hit the crap out of my mic. But yay. Oh, I'm so proud. I'm happy. She deserves this. She needs this. And then we just need a Maho um, Rinku character songs. Because I was, okay, going back to <clears throat> Bandere, of course, um, they didn't really have the character songs in any of the seasons, really. And so you don't really get the character songs, I think. I think you get them immediately in the game. Because I've been playing the damn game ever since it came out in Ian and JB. So, yeah. Yeah. But I love the fact that, like, because of the fact is this is airing bi-weekly. And, you know, you're playing the game and it's like that. I love the fact that what it does is when Mooney had her, you know, character song instantly character song came out in the game so the next week if the song is called brand new world ray song will then come out and I, I know i will play the heck out of it because she is my best girl and i love her so much she's just so freaking adorable and i mean she is rinko 100 percent. but the thing is that's different and it's only really <clears throat> i would say the way the seiyu performs because when she plays Rinko, she's very, very shy. She has, like, this shy, cutesy voice. While her is Ray, she's a little more outspoken. Even though Ray is trying to find herself. Because she, she, you know, Ray is confident, in my opinion, a little more than Rinko. Because Rinko, she has times where she is very shy. But when Rinko really loves something, especially when her and Akko are, like, freaking out over games and stuff, that's, like, the cutest thing ever. But anytime, like, Ray has that confidence, ooh, you're just like, oh, my God, like, yes, baby, like, go. I am so proud of you. 
and she brings it out a lot but I do wish she would voice her opinion more and I think once this episode airs next week she will be voicing her opinion a lot I do love the fact that Fonta made a finally made an appearance in this because oh my god now we just need Mermaid and Lyrical Lily I don't care if you put them in the background something please because we are almost done with this show we don't know if this show is getting a second season please everybody I don't know what the heck just fell um <clears throat> Everybody has made an appearance except those two because way before that it was three people. It was three units. Rondo, Lyrica, Lily, and Merman. And Rondo made an appearance episodes ago. So it would make the most sense to put both of these. Heck, when they were showing the school, I was like, oh my god, are they literally going to show Lyrica Lily for like a second and then back over? But no. But here's hoping from episode, from what is this, nine? This is, yeah, nine from 10 to the end of the series that we at least get to see something but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of d4dj first mix if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially next friday or really this friday for episode 10 bye guys